Look. Homie looking fresh. Say that. You got Say that, that baseball tee, homie. Man, this is the this is the I'm telling you, this is the usual. This is the summertime usual. You gotta be able to do it. You just gotta have a bunch of colors. You don't have most people do just the white tee. This is it. this is it. I just throw a color. And this is the this is the I got the black tee with a bunch of cat hair on it right now. Let's go. Man, you and these damn cats, man. And my my hey. wife's up here talking about uh, trying to get a pet, and I'm, and she's always had cats. Uh, and you I, ain't got one yet? I'm not for that, and it's not about to happen. The brakes You're live. Is, the brakes is on it. I put the brakes on it. Yeah, what the hell's wrong with you? You're gonna need. You're gonna need. You're gonna need one of those emotional support cats. Oh, homie. yo, <laughs> man, yo, really, you're gonna need one of those emotional support cats, man. They ain't all that uh, bad. <laughs> I really might though. That's that's the problem. I really might though. What's man, been going yeah. on with you? I know you haven't been out on the golf course. By the way, I'm about ready. <laughs> uh, I'm about ready to go hit the links again on Friday. Man, good. Well, hopefully shit. I. Hopefully I remember sunscreen, because check this out. Ooh, looking a little shiny. Oh, boy, that's going to be. Burned my bald ass head yesterday at a memorial from my boy's uh, pops. But yeah, yeah, it was was one of those days. But yeah, got a little little color on that uh, bald ass head of mine. What's the the, the courses look like over there? That's cool. Hey, uh, they're about 197 degrees outside. But yeah, I don't know. I haven't. I haven't played the one we're going to play on uh when we're going to play on Friday. I've never, I don't, if I played there, I haven't played there in 20 years. So it'll be fun. Mm, Either way, mm-hmm. everybody knows I'm shit. So except for my putting game, I'm the best putter in the world. So hopefully I can replicate a couple good shots from the, the Hindu golf tournament that I had going and okay. be back in the business, baby. Well, looking I mean, forward to it. You don't have a uh, scratch golf for aspirations at the moment. So I feel like I see what's no. going on. Not so, yet. No. So it's all good. Yeah, you know I mean, so yeah, man. What's I'm, going down with you, homie? What's been going on in the in the 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 the, the homie household? The homie household, you're talking about the, the medical facility. Yeah, you know I'm saying uh, uh the, the anonymous pup homie uh is, <laughs> is, is in full effect because i am physically unable to perform bro man this is wild it, the story just keeps getting wilder and wilder i'm telling you if you wrote this like it was a sitcom it would be completely believable and probably funny because this shit's so wild it just escalate. Everything is just escalated, bro. And I'm telling you, man, and alas, what have you, man, I'm telling you, walking is become a chore, bro. And we talked offline about me uh, wilding out and saying, man, I need to get me one of those Louisville slugger that are made into a cane. I need that in my life because that's so we, pimp. That's hard. Quit, quit playing. Get it, homie. Man, those been around for, forever. That's hard. It's a showpiece. I couldn't do it. Do that public, though. That's too showy, bro. That's, that's way too look at me, man. You ain't that's gonna. Ha- you ain't gonna have a choice, big dog. <laughs> I know, but I need some. Uh, but uh, hey, I got some. Uh, hey, I need something that is state of the art, scientific, space age polymer plastic, like the lightest, most durable. There's not no hurricane type situation I'm working with because I can't be doing that because of the stigma. And geriatric stigmas that go along with hurricanes, you know. But uh, yeah, I'm I, I got something that is ergonomic for my hand when I hold it, because me using the old softball bat to get around the house wasn't cutting it. I have to own this. I realize I gotta own this, bro. There's nothing else for me to do except for own this. I'm on the shelf. I'm on the IR. I am worse than uh, Kyra, uh, not Kyra. Are, are you on a low management too? It's me and Kawhi Leonard, man, except for I'm really injured, bro. You know what I'm saying? I've been gone for two years gone. Uh, me and Kyra, uh, me and Kawhi Leonard have been doing the same thing. Two years gone out of the game, man. And I haven't been able to do a thing. It's rough for the ego. I'll tell you that, that, that a lot. Uh, as a man, to be able to uh, do damn near nothing, Okay, it's the tough one, but lucky, I am always, you know, what I'm saying a smile with the situation. You, you can't get down about none of the stuff, man. That's wild, man. And uh, you take every step, you know, uh, 
for whatever God give you, man. And hopefully that's a solid foundation, man. And you laugh about it, try to have, still have some fun, man. And hopefully these doctors uh, uh, went to school long enough to be able to uh, come up with something uh, that might work. And I think it might involve a, a surgery. So we're going to have to see what's up. I got to get the Bo Jackson band, that basically. So all everybody didn't know what's up, man. I feel like Bo Jackson. Man. I went out there. I was an A-star, you know what I mean? And I got this, the my career cut short by injury. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> my career is cut short by injury. I, I, I've been thinking about this, homie. I've been thinking about some. Uh... I don't even know if I would be first ballot. I was thinking about I was thinking about some uh, homie uh, practices that you could you could get into. You could get one of those big uh, horse troughs and and buy an ice cooler, have it loaded up with ice every day. Ice. You got the ice bath. You could do the ice bath with the in the trough in the backyard. You know, just sit out there. You know, get the ice trough. Also. Uh, you could do the uh, cryogenic chamber, chamber or whatever. You could do that as well. Uh, and then you could also do the surgery if, you know, if that's what I mean, it boils down. Yeah, I, I don't, look, if I have to have whatever they tell me I have to have in order to be mobile. I mean, because look, you remember the old school show that uh, your boy Dion Prime had back in the day when he it was like a reality show back in the day. You remember oh, yeah. that? All right, yeah. remember he used to drive around his house inside the house in a golf cart. Yeah, yeah. I, when I saw that back in the day, I was like, "That I, I want that. I want that." Now that I'm really close to that, <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want that. You don't I want a little scooter or the golf cart on your on your on your yard rolling around. No from car to door. Want, I don't want the chair that's attached to the stairs, like in a creepy old mansion. I don't want none of that, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be able to, you know what I'm saying? If I need a little something for the meantime, whatever, that's cool. But they got to find something because old dude told me now this dude was literally like Dr. James Andrews. I felt like, you know what I'm saying? If I use the sports analogy, because that's what we do around here. Right. So I go to Dr. James Andrews. Okay. The other day. And he tells me, you know what? Uh, stem cells and HGH, uh, you're already way past that nothing I could do for you uh he was like now there's naturally there's the Bo Jackson all right and there's some umbilical cord something that they do I don't believe in that at all yeah apparently they take something from an umbilical cord from somewhere but I don't believe in that at all I don't trust that he goes but there is the uh, the blood spinning thing and I'm going hey, this dude is talking about recommending I get the Kobe Bryant and Dirk Nowitzki where they undo the, they un, they withdraw your blood and they spin it and they do something. This is some technology that's been around for a while, but it was like uh, outlawed here at the time. And Kobe and Dirk went to Europe to go get it done. Right. And then all Remember the football players do that for their knee surgeries. Yeah, exactly. So he said, then there's that, but I don't know. So this is where I'm at right now. So, uh, there is, if you looked at the imaging, there's deterioration in there. So, like uh, certified. So, I'm really on the on, on the IL. Um, the so much, so much, so I got PUP homie. <laughs> yeah, so much, so you know, what I'm saying the anonymous PUP homie. Five years of VIP parking, certified parking ladies, police, be trying to sweat me parking in odd spots. No, I get VIP and you can eat it, dog. You know what I'm saying? I got placards to prove it, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's Good. what I'm saying. So when you, hit up, when you hit up the EQC, you got yo, that front row parking to man, roll in real yo. quick, yeah, make some you, wagers, and then roll back out. Yeah, but see, you know, all the old people don't, old people don't beat you to it. The old people, they don't play That's because that. they're there all day, homie. They're early. Yeah, they're early. They're early. They're early. They're early. You, you, can't beat you, better, you better start regimenting your schedule like uh, – to, so you could acclimate that parking pass a little bit more. <laughs> hey, so you check out, I know a little bit of talk on the streets have been the uh, Little League World Series, especially the Little oh, League, hell yeah. uh, especially up in your neck in the woods. Uh, yeah. Because the Bonnie Lake team Bonnie's. from Bonnie Lake, Washington, yes, made sir. it out made it out of the uh, the regionals to the Little League World Series, baby, which should start, I think it's August 11th. Uh, wait, yeah. August 19th, actually. I think it's not, uh, 19th. 19th damn it i got my dates confused um, that's cool i'm pretty sure it's the 19th i think it's next like thursday yeah. um 
but anyways, the, the play on the field, how they advanced to the World Little League World Series was a ball or a, a ball that was hit down the third baseline, called foul, it. called foul by the third base umpire. And the third base coach is like running his guy, go, go, because there's a guy yeah. in the second game, go, 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 go. Yeah. And then scored in the bottom of the six to win. And then they went to replay, which could you imagine if there, I mean, if there wasn't replay five years ago that right. everything's going to replay, what would have happened? It would have been a debacle. Well, right. it still was a debacle. Well, you don't want like you, like you, you enjoy the human screwing up. I do. And so that's part of my, that's part go of my ahead. judgment yeah. here. Go so ahead. in my opinion, congrats to them, first of all, and the human part of the game, no replay umpire calls it foul mm -hmm. the only person that can override that call Upstairs. could be the home plate umpire okay however i don't believe that it's his call once it goes past the third base bag so if it goes back past the third base bag then it is the the third base umpire's call and he called it foul but they went to replay and then when the replay side, they called it fair because it was a fair ball went in went over the bag at third base. So it's a fair ball. Yeah, it should be. Um, so that's my take on it. But shout out to them. Caused mass confusion for the Washington <laughs> sure. team to get through to the Little League World Series. But shout out to them. They're going to the Little League World Series. Uh, you know me. You know, I get in with uh, Little League every year. Because Washington, they, we've always we've kept a couple of teams. I remember the uh, the team from the Alderwood area uh, went not too long ago. But yeah, of course I saw that man. Uh, I didn't I didn't know that Bonnie Lake team had advanced because I I missed that. Uh, but of course, because remember I was sitting up here telling you I go offline. I says, hey, <laughs> how come you didn't tell me there was a team of Pasco right there? We haven't talked about this. What's going on? Because <laughs> I'm looking at a screen and their jerseys. Like I was like like I texted to you is P A S E E O not e -O? C O so <laughs> Paseo instead of Pasco. This whole time I'm thinking he got a little league team popping out there, and they didn't. But yeah, of course I've been on it. But at my story, man, about the little league. Of course, did you see the beaning? Yeah, I, I did. I, saw, I know you saw the beaning, man. Yeah, and the kid oh, hit. Kid got hit. Yeah. Yeah, it's all the way around. All the emotions are all over the place in that situation. You love what Little League is for what exactly it is. It's the the the, the bread basket of, you know what I'm saying, your sports fandom and your participation in sports. It's, yo, it's good sportsmanship, man. It's, you know, emotions of sadness and all of this. And everybody played it, Right um the uh pitcher i think it was from Pierland, texas i think if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong but anyway he was a pitcher he beans the kid kid goes down um for a good period of time in the head in the head in the head my uh, good point um eventually gets his gets his life together gets the first base man and the pitcher cracks starts to cry right and he can't compose himself his guys go out there the in, infielders go out there to the mound and then guess who goes out there the guy who beamed him to come out to the mound to hug the kid tell him it's all right you beam me but let me catch you on the streets i'm giving <laughs> you a two-piece and a biscuit but for right now we're on espn i'm not even gonna do you dirty because my parents train me better than that OK, but don't let me see you later on these streets. It's going to be like Cobra Kai out here. <laughs> right. And so I, I, I thought I was wondering where you're going to go with that, because in my competitiveness, right. I would not want. You want them to fight. You want to see some 12 year olds fight. I, I don't want. No, that's different. Yeah, do. I don't want yeah, the kids did. going out there. causing You will see. Right. However, at the same time, you <laughs> could have mixed martial you, arts. You don't stop <laughs> the game <laughs> to do that. However, kudos to the kid for having good sportsmanship because we don't want him rolling through the streets, causing a ruckus two years from now when he's not playing, if he's not playing Little League, yeah. that he was the kid who got beat in the head. And now he says, 
you know what, I'm in the streets, you know, uh, causing madness, not showing the love, the empathy that the whole world needs right now. You want old boy to charge them out. You want a 12? You want to see a 12? No, no, no. I'm saying I'm on his side. In the the competitive regional Little League World Series environment, (laughs) I see it. I'm with him. So kudos to the kid. Shout out to him, whichever he was from. I forgot, didn't get that part of it, but yeah, I forgot. I forgot know, man. I'm down, I'm down with that. And, yeah. and I, you can't hate on these kids, like I said. Would yeah. you rather them be show love and empathy now when they're in a competitive environment, like all sports do for mm-hmm. uh, for kids, show that competitive wins, loss, win like a champion, lose like a champion yeah. stuff, right? Yeah, good for them because if they wouldn't show that. Mm-hmm. Not that all of them do, but in that moment, could be worse in a few years from now. His parents could be like, well, I should have coached him better. I should have said, yeah, did exactly. other things better. It could be a whole new ball game a few years from now. Yeah, yeah. There's a whole opposite side of this, too. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I mean, it could be the kid who's just a poor sportsman because he shows up everybody. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you're the pitcher that shows up everybody. Or right. you're the, you know what I'm saying? You're Mr. Back, 12-year-old backflip. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're <laughs> yeah. yeah, and these kids can hit some balls right now, too. So uh, I don't yeah, know if you've seen any of those, man. They're out there fired up. Let's close it out real quick on this, and then we'll get to the uh, some other intro topics here. Uh, Got to give a shout-out to uh, Bill Russell, as we talked about last week also. The NBA finally decided oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. to retire his number six jersey. Um, mm. So that's pretty cool. League Glad they're wide. doing that league wide baby. league wide retired all through i have one question for you go ahead homie though go ahead you can elaborate on this if you want go ahead what's your boy lebron gonna do okay with so his our, number six everybody got everybody he's got he's getting the mariano rivera treatment okay already so here you go. It's the same situation. There's only Grandma five. Is. Lou Williams and uh, LeBron's the only notable guy. And then Lou Williams. And then a couple of names, you know, but who cares? Right. Hey, shout out to the NBA, right, for giving Bill Russell first the Jackie Robinson treatment. Put a jersey Facts. up there and call it a day for an icon socially athletically you know what i'm saying in all different ways meant a lot to a whole bunch of different people and a lot yeah saying everybody whatever side you on with that well a great dude and if i look at that sport he was there before will chamberlain but after george mike and you ain't gonna do it to george mike and in the 99 you have to do it for bill russell who is the ultimate champion he's you know i'm saying in that right it wouldn't be Jordan's you would do that with. It is Bill Russell's you do that with. If you change the logo to Jordan, nobody would bat an eye. But if you change the logo to Bill Russell, everybody go, what y'all, y'all tripping? This league-wide number situation and, and the commemoration of what he did, man, that's big because it puts him on a level with Jackie Robinson. And if you don't know why, that gives people a chance to go find out. Right. When you go to arena, why can't nobody wear the six that creates that conversation? And that's a beautiful thing. There's one thing that bothers me about this, though, homie, Mm. is that. We discussed his passing last week and now all of a sudden they're going to retire his number now after that. And they already knew he was. You already knew how old he was and he was already on going on the downhill. Yeah. Do that shit before the dude passes away. I mean, for his family, for all that, it still lives on. For him, maybe that was one thing he really would have enjoyed. So mm-hmm. congrats that they're doing it. Yeah. But come on, NBA, you fucking up again. Should well, I don't know. I think you jumped the gun on this one because you, have, you do have to remember that the NBA Finals MVP award is named the Bill Russell Award. They did do that a couple of years back. So he did get his flowers. Shout out to the NBA for that. Don't jump the good thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I feel what you're saying. I feel what you're saying. But uh, hey, I don't think they jumped off the porch with that one too big because I think that's a good call. They had just did that and they recently changed the Eastern Conference Finals MVP is a trophy now that they never had. So 
they could put Magic's name on it and put Larry Bird's name on the other they one. They got the all-star one with the Kobe. The all-star one with Kobe. So they're starting to, you know what I'm saying, set these icons so you know who they are moving forward, I guess in the same route that hockey did with those names. But we, st- you still want to call the Counts Mike the MVP pro. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing. All right. Well, let's let's get into it. We've uh, we've been rambling on here for a minute with our oh, you know, we, cold we, open, but that's just, ha- that's just how show? we do. Oh, let's do a show then. I mean, uh, yeah, we you know, this is just the start of the show. We got the rest of the show to go. And, you know, we got long-winded. We a little long-winded sometimes. So, Let's hey, if you show. haven't noticed, we are the audio version of Sidney Dean and Billy Hoyle. Shout out, white, white men can't jump. Hey. Uh, welcome to the Sports Fix with Sticks and Nas Big Homie. In the house. Had to take a drink, though. <laughs> Remember to subscribe, rate, and review on whatever podcast platform you listen to. Go to thisisfunner.com for more podcasts and online content. Grab some merch wire there from the Funner family. You got these shirts right here. About there time to get some of these. You know, it's hot as hell out here. You get a little tank or sleeveless mm-hmm. or, you know, I know Home, home, Homie does it in the summer. He wants a crew neck sweatshirt or whatever. Check us out on the YouTube, on YouTube Sports Fix with Stip, Sticks. <laughs> Subscribe and smash that like button, baby. Follow us on Twitter and join the conversation. Follow me at Stick015. Follow this guy. Mm-hmm. Announce big homie at homie underscore anonymous. Use okay. that hashtag sticks and sports for all content and follow that. And before we get into the next homie, you might want to check your Twitter. I think you got about 47 notifications sitting there from me. Still. Still. 